All right, good evening, everybody. David E. Taylor, you're a piece of shit. You're a lion sack of shit. And why didn't you come out tonight, dude? You're scared of something. I was there. I know you. I know you saw me. <laughs> that was on your main screen. That was that was awesome. I've been trying so long to do that. And David or Joseph was actually looking right at me, and then, you know, you guys eventually cut my screen off and kicked me out of the room, which was, anyways. Um, just it's going to be kind of a short video tonight, guys, because David, uh, you're not coming out tonight, which is awesome. This is what we want. We don't want you to be able to operate on any form of social media because this is where you operate your scam. It's the same shit. You do the same shit, just a different night. You come out, you have all your concubines worship and praise and do all this bullshit. Then you have Tony or well, Tony's actually in the media room. Michelle's probably at the mansion, you know, or one of your houses that you have. And then you have all your people up in the media room moderating your chats. And that's got to be hard work for you guys, man, to moderate YouTube. You got to moderate Zoom. You only had a little bit of time on the way, the way TV last night and now network because you're full of shit and they probably see right through your scam all the time. Um, so that's got to be hard work. And not to mention, you're, what you're doing, David, is you're creating fake YouTube accounts. You're having your people at your cult create fake accounts to monetize your channel. I know you are, dude, because your the way your subscriber count is, dude, it's just, it's fucking ridiculous. There's no way you should be getting that many subscribers, dude. You're a full-on fucking scam artist. A couple things. Your sound not working last night. Joseph, you were doing it. I feel stupid telling you, but I'm sure you, pro you guys probably read the comments here. D Joseph, you were doing it. You have no concept of how sound works with a phone and a mic and all that shit. Like... I was sitting there laughing my ass off at you because you were causing it and then David was becoming unhinged at you. It was great. It was, uh, again, everybody, this is a fucking comedy show in the making. To sit back and watch this, this is better than fucking stand-up. It really is. It's, it, you're seeing what we're sitting back and witnessing is a fucking full, a, a narcissistic breakdown almost of David. Because David is losing control here real fucking fast. And he, may, he might not say he is. He might say he's in control. But David, why didn't you come out tonight? I just... Thank you, Jim, and my cult watch. <laughs> so, full frontal. Guess what? There I was. I was on your guys' Zoom tonight. <laughs> oh, man. You know how long I've been waiting to do that? To get on there? Again. Right here. <laughs> Joseph was looking right at me. So again, David, I told you, man, I'm not going away, dude. I'm really not. I'm not going to let you sit here and scam mentally ill people because you do it to veterans too, sack of shit. Um, I love the one with you and Joseph. Yeah, Joseph, <laughs> they're staring right at me. And I'm <laughs> Hi, Joseph. <laughs> oh, man. I can see David back there. How the fuck did he get here? Get him off of there right now. Get him off. Get him off. David, that's why you're not on tonight. <laughs> okay. So again, back to the whole sound thing. Sorry, I got on a tangent there. The whole sound thing, that was caused by you, Joseph. You were doing it. You have no concept of a microphone with the telephone. And you were trying to do it over the phone to a Skype. It, it, no wonder you had fucking feedback, dude. That was just dumb what you were doing, okay? Not only that, but David, I'm pretty sure God doesn't want you fucking exploiting him like you are, you know? Maybe that's God telling you you should shut your fucking trap and just not be a wannabe Benny Hinn, prophet, fucking apostle. You are a liar. You're a narcissist. You're a uh, adulterer. You are a sack of shit. You sleep with multiple women. You have. You scam mentally ill people. I have proof of that. Um, you're actually moving assets around right now because of your court case, which is coming up in December. All right, that case is 18SL-CC02174. Harold Lewis, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Harold Lewis would love to know, you know, how you said you were making millions. You know, you brought in millions through COVID, but here you are telling the courts, David, that you don't have any money. So you're going to get caught in a lie somewhere, dude. You're, you're, you're telling your lie for us to expose, David, and you're, the best thing for you to do is just shut the fuck up, okay? I'm telling you. That would be the best thing for you to do in this case, David. Just shut your mouth, dude. 
you're, you're not, you're digging your hole deeper with what you're doing. I promise you that. Uh, Mariah, get out, dude. Uh, get out. Oh, pl please, for your own benefit, get out of this. And I hate to say this, but you're too beautiful for this to be in here. You should be running for Miss America. There's other women that have come out of this cult too who should probably also be running for Miss America. Um, creating fake you, YouTube accounts, yeah. And then <laughs> also, David, you call your Amway Arena the Walmart of ministry? That's You are the fucking Walmart of ministry, dude. Your fucking scam artist just sack of shit. Like, want to be Benny Hinn. Again, Benny Hinn bent over, fucking spread his butt cheeks out, and just took a big runny shit, and out came David Taylor, guys. And David being a, a dream master interpreter? Yeah, okay, not, not true. Another thing I wanted to point out is that David is writing kids' books now, which is kind of fucking creepy. Um, pe people who have kids, don't buy your, his fucking book, okay? This is some weird shit that's going on here. And the fact that Ashley's daughter saying she's having a visitation at five years old and speaking to bugs, that, that's some fucking weird shit, okay? What is going on here with these people is it, it needs some attention, no doubt. And the fact that there was somebody that came on last night saying this lady said she was cured of HIV. Sorry, that doesn't happen, okay? There is no cure for HIV. And to, for somebody to come on and say that is, mis, is misleading, really. You're trying, for some reason, David, it's like you're trying to bring these, these sick people on saying they've been cured of these diseases that can't be cured. I don't, I don't know what the point is of that. And then the whole thing of Michelle being under attack on social media. You know why she's under attack? Because you guys, your depositions put together, it's just, it shows how complicit you guys are in your scam and the lies with Ashley, LaMarcia, Bashir, you know, Bashira, and now uh, Michelle's complicit and David. That's what I mean. All, all the main actors, Joseph, Mariah, you're involved. You know exactly what's going on. Joseph, you're the yes man. You would know exactly what's going on also. Michelle, you're the main concubine. You know 100%. It wouldn't surprise me if you're actually running the shit show. And David, you know, again, David, your your behavior, your your erratic behavior is is typical like opioid abuse behavior, okay? Um, your, your mansion that you just purchased cash. I mean, David, there's so many red flags here. The fact that you actually had Joseph and Michelle purchase it cash after you bounced two checks. Two checks, not just one, two guys. He bounced two checks. On a purchase that big, you know, I'm bouncing. I, I don't know how how much the checks were for a purchase that big. Standard rate for a one point four million dollar house. I'm guessing, you know, they're gonna want to see some money down on a purchase like that. At least, I don't know, twenty to thirty, maybe ten percent. <clears throat> for I, I don't know, you know. Put, let me know if there's any any real estate out there that deals in big purchases like that. What's the typical down payment? You know, is it the standard ten percent or is it you know, is there is there other guidelines when you're purchasing a project that big? I'm kind of curious about that. So, <clears throat> again, put the mansion in Joseph and Michelle's name to hide the assets from the court case that... This just an opinion, guys. But, uh, again, given what he's done before, he bankrupted Resurrection Media Ministries International back in, what, the fucking 90s. Then he went over to JMMI. Now he is bankrupting that one. He's most likely will file bankruptcy with that one. And then Kingdom of God Global Church, which is his new scam, which is now in Michelle Brennan's name. Okay, all that paperwork's been transferred over. There have been quick claim deeds on houses. Um, just all kinds of real shady shit that's gone on. So the new house having fresh live lobster delivered, you know, shit like that. I mean, come on, David. That's what you're doing with donor money. And you're building that ridiculous stage down in Florida. Using donor money. You know, and again... You don't, you, you don't have an idea how much it's going to cost to move that stage, David. Logistically, how big that stage is, is just fucking ridiculous idea. You're going to need more than fucking 10 trucks. You're going to need labor crews, labor unions. You're going to need tools, forklifts, you know, all that shit, David. You're going to need all that. If you're going to supply that, then more power to you. But if you get to an arena and you don't have that, exactly like some of the people have said here who have experience in logistics, it's going to cost fucking 20 grand to move that arena each time that's just to move it that's not counting your teardown and setup you know so you're not you haven't looked into this thoroughly enough to run this arena you're running 
you're running multiple scams on multiple fronts. You know, you're saying you're going to convert all these trucks, but you're also going to use these trucks to travel the stage around the world and around the country to run this fucking cancer crusade arena. This is equal to that guy that did the fucking ARC experience. Let me find his name real quick. <clears throat> is that in like Tennessee or some shit? This is like equal to that, David. Ark Encounter, that's what it's called. Williamstown, Kentucky. So this guy, massive shape, three, be three decks depicting Bible Tale of Noah's Ark with the interactive exhibits and zoo. Like this is, some guy, some t evangelist did this too also. And people kind of looked at him like he was, I don't know, like he was kind of a weirdo. <clears throat> but anyways, guys, that's kind of it for the night. You know, I'm kind of glad David's not coming out. That's what we want, David. We don't want you to operate on social media because we don't want you to scam people anymore. Get it? Stop your scam. Give it up. Put down the fucking lobster. Go on a vegan diet and hit the treadmill a little bit, okay? Before your fucking heart explodes from fucking cholesterol, dude. All right. we know, Dude, I know your fucking diet habits and it's not dude, telling you, dude. Throw that in with a little bit of fucking drug use, man. It's take care of your health first, dude. You're, you're you're not looking good right now, dude. You know, you're really not. So, you all stay safe. You know, <laughs> David, stay a piece of shit, man. I love I love the fact that you're not coming out tonight, and the fact that they said all your cult members had to say that oh he's gonna take a rest. No, it's because we're fucking onto you, David, and it's too much work to it's it's. It's too much work for your team to stop us. It really is. There's too many of us now, dude. You can't stop this. So you guys have a good evening. David E. Taylor, you're a piece of shit. Michelle, you're a liar. And Ashley Ware, you are now complicit in the whole scam. So you guys enjoy your freedom while it lasts.